Okay, two cylinders. First, divide your paper in half because we'll be needing two cylinders in one page. If you want to use only one paper for each cylinder, totally fine by me. First, start out with an oval. And two straight lines. Make sure it ends on the same length. Curve the bottom, matching the curve on top. That is your cylinder. For the one on the right, we're going to give the light source from the left side, meaning the shadow will cast onto the right side. So I'm going to go ahead and sketch out the line for the shadow. And this one we're going to color in red. Since the light is coming from the left, we'll have light medium and dark tones the top will be the lightest remember that drawing for cylinders we have that t shape for the core darkness same thing for the watercolor one except we're going to make it very saturated so that will be this area right here t shape and now let's take our brushes Activate your pigment. Now, start from the top as you are coloring in, reshape the top. And then come down straight lines, not all the way down because this is the part where we want it to be the most saturated. Adding some water and then we'll give lighter as you go down. Same thing. Pick up the pigment from before. Leave this part slightly for reflected light. We'll color that in with purple red. Now make purple by mixing blue onto existing red on your palette. Use it for 
with the thick line, which is the very edge of the darkest. Make sure that you blend in with the tone next to it so it doesn't look like it's divided. Okay, now for the shadow. Remember not to use the color black on your color palette. Instead, we're going to make blue purple. So I'm going to mix my red and blue together to create dark purple. Once you have that color, start with yeah, closer to the surface. That should be your darkest shadow. And as you go out, add in water, pick up the pigment, and thin it out. Once you're all done, you can go ahead and do the top by just adding a dash of pink, not pink, red pigment, lots of water, so it's very light red. So that is red. If you feel like your pigment's getting weak, you can go ahead and add another layer if you want. I feel like I need to. All right, the blue one. Same thing, start out with an oval. Push it down. Make sure it's the same height. And use the same roundness on the top. And the light source is coming from the right, meaning the shadow will cast onto your left. Okay. And this one we're going to color in with blue. So activate your blue pigment. Since the light is coming from 
the right. This part will be the lightest, medium, dark, but for watercolors, it will be the saturated most on this part, the T shape. The four saturated part. The top will be the lightest, and the shadow, same thing as the one we did for the red one. Okay, so now you have your most saturated blue paint. We're going to start by coloring the top, round it. And then come down. And add the water. Out. As you go lighter, add more water. Leaving this part for the purple, that's my reflected light. And the same thing with the shadow, make it blue purple. I'm going to add in my red. Start from the bottom. Sure, you thin it out as you go away from the object. Okay. And the same thing for the top. Light is blue using lots of water. Be the finished painting. 